So the Jordan Poole Chris Paul trade happened earlier this offseason, and honestly, it was it was really strange to see at first. You know, Jordan Poole is a player who hasn't even entered its prime yet. He's super young, flashy, has all the skill. Meanwhile, CP3, he's definitely towards the tail end of his career. He's getting older, and he can't seem to stay healthy in the playoffs. Um, so it's was kind of confusing why the Warriors did this trade at first. Um, maybe you can argue kind of the salary implications of of uh, Jordan Poole's extension compared to uh, Chris Paul's uh, one year left on his salary. Um, but there's another thing to look out for, which is what a lot of people have been bringing up. Um, Lester Canones has been absolutely balling in summer league, um, and he has a lot of the same uh, skill set that Jordan Poole provides. Um, he's a little bigger and maybe not as flashy or um, kind of saucy with his dribble, but um, he has similar skills for uh, shot creating, playmaking, as well as shooting. And maybe the Warriors front office is kind of onto something um, where Lester Quinones kind of replaces Jordan Poole in terms of that bench uh, offensive spark that they really need when, when Curry sits down. Um, so I've compiled a little highlight tape of a lot of what Leicester has done in the Summer League as well as in the G League um, and compared it with um, a lot of moves that Jordan Poole has been doing um, in the NBA. So um, yeah, please enjoy Jordan Poole uh, versus Leicester Quinones, identical plays. <laughs>
is what I need.